Okay, so now I have a fresh install of WordPress on a new domain. I will be developing this online so you can see the website I create and compare yours to mine. Ideally, I would create this on a local install and then when the website is complete, I would upload it to the server. But I'm doing it this way because of those reasons. So if you don't know how to install WordPress, there's usually a sort of um, script you can run on your web host which will install it for you. If you don't, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials online which will show you how to do so anyway. Okay, so <clears throat> you should have by now entered your details in here and downloaded the assets you need for this course. If you haven't, please do it now. The website link is weare.co.uk forward slash tutorial hyphen business hyphen layout. I will also put this in the comments below this video. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress install, go to the dashboard. Um, go to appearance, themes, and then add a new theme. Right now the default I think is 2017 theme is showing, yeah, the 2017. So go to upload theme and you should have this theme already here from the downloaded files that I have sent you. So drag that across, click choose file, and then click on install now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Wait for this to upload and click on activate. Now you've installed a new theme, it's blank, that's exactly what we want, and it has a few files in there which we will need. So we can see this by going over the, the site called business. This is where I've called my site. Yours obviously will be different. Click on visit site. And here you can see that it's basically a blank install and it has a little bit of content on here which we will soon get rid of. So now using the FTP program and the editor of your choice, I personally use Coda when I'm uploading to a live site. Click on the FTP go to where we've just installed this file, so it's uh, the theme rather, this WP content, themes, and then consult. Here we're in the root folder of this new theme. So firstly, go back to your dashboard. Create a new page, go to add new. Call this the home page, home page, and click publish. So for this page, we need to create a new template. And right now, there's no option on the side to select the template because we haven't created one. So go back into your file editor. And this is the way I like to do things. So create a new file in the root folder of the theme. Name this template hyphen home dot php. Then double click on that file to open it up. Let me enlarge this slightly. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, so every template needs um, a few different um, blocks of code. So firstly, open up the PHP tags and then insert a comment with a forward slash and the little star symbol. And write this exactly as I'm doing, template name, and call this home page. Then close the comment. And now get the header file. And finally get the footer file. Save this file, and if you're using Coda, it'll automatically update to your server. If you're not, save the file, then upload it via whatever FTP you use. So now update this existing page once again, which we created earlier. 
this refreshes the page and now you can see there's a new box added on the right hand side down here called page attributes there's a parent drop down ignore that for now and a template drop down this is what we need so click that select home page and then once again click update now if we go to the home page of the site you may think that the changes are now in place and they are usually that doesn't happen okay <laughs> let's go back and see what's going on if we go to settings general nope reading okay that doesn't usually do that usually is the latest post is selected and then you have to click on the static page and the home page is the home then you save that and now the home page like it was but it shouldn't have done is now showing on this page here so you can see there's some content in here which we haven't put in ourselves so we've got a little bit of two links here um, we've got some sort of navigation going on and text and then another link at the top so let me explain what's going on earlier we created a get header and a get footer call so basically this section here is calling the header and that part sorry as well and this part down here is calling the footer so what we'll do now just to demonstrate that is open those files up so go to the root folder once again and you can see header where's it by header and footer so open up the header because there's a lot of code in here we don't really need so right away we can see this skip link screen needed the text we don't need this yet so delete that from the opening a tag to the closing also where there's site branding it says site branding rather from the opening php tag to the end php tag just before the closing div you can delete all that too and finally where it says button delete everything from the opening button to the closing button tag underneath here is the navigation which we will later implement and then the closing divs and the opening content tag which we don't need to concentrate on right now so press Control and s or command and s if you're on a mac that file then auto upload refresh the page and you can see we've got rid of that text we didn't need at the top and finally we can do the same for the footer so open the footer too and you can see there's some text in here which we don't need either so from this opening a tag oh, delete everything inside the site info but keep the actual site info dibs and we'll just put some dummy text in here so you can see what's happening this is the footer and close the p tags okay so the footer is called and we can do something similar to the header so you can see what's going on header and let's put this under the navigation for now so when we buy this is the header save that and we may as well put something in the home page here so you can see that this is actually working this is the home page so this one file is calling the header and the footer and the content in between so this is the header which is coming from the header this is the home page which is coming from the home page and this is the footer which is coming from the footer so now we are ready to start creating our actual design please like and subscribe this to this video and you will be updated when I release the next part of the series Thanks very much.